you know, things come up and you call the vet because if you don't know, it's better to call somebody who knows. going to uh, going out to take some pictures of the horses because I was like TJ has a heart on his forehead and it's Valentine's Day so um, I want to take a picture of my horse that has a heart on his forehead and share it on Instagram so anyways I'm out there and I'm like looking at the mini like something is up and I was like his eye looks weird and I got closer and I realized his eyelid was like super swollen you know as it is everything's going smoothly and then something comes up but it's okay we called the vet um, she said it's probably an eyelid thing or uh, around the eye and not the eyeball itself so she gave us some advice to ice it for 10 minutes two times tonight to check on it tomorrow keep doing the same thing and see if the swelling starts to go down so that's what we're doing you know things come up and you call the vet because if you don't know it's better to call somebody who knows and it was just really helpful and she had some good tips to say about how to uh, treat swollen area on the eye and it was very comforting in the fact that we're doing what we need to do and so anywho I got my bag of frozen peas and going out to uh, apply some ice she say? She said, she asked first what his eyeball looked like, if it seemed fine, and I said that his eyeball looks normal. And she said, okay, good, then 99% of the time he's just probably like turned his head around really fast and whacked his head on something and it's just sw swollen from whacking his head on something. She said to treat it with ice uh, a couple times tonight, like about 10 minutes at a time. She said like to take a bag of a vegetables, frozen vegetables, and place it on the eye. Uh, so she said if it looks any worse, like if he's, if he's clenching it shut to tomorrow or anything like that, or, or he's like, you know, acting weird or anything like that, then they call her, but it should start to, it'll look different because the swelling should go down, but it should start to look better. And the discharge itself, she said, is because of the swelling. When, it's, when it swells, it block, blocks up the drainage system from their tear ducts. So basically, instead of dra draining properly, their tear ducts are overflowing, and that's why all- Vets are so smart. Why there's all that drainage. Also, TJ really likes you. Yeah. So we should be okay. We should, be, we should have to ice it a few times. Guy has a swollen eye, and so we called the vet immediately. You can see it. We're gonna apply some ice to it as per vet's instructions and then keep an eye on it. That's ironic. We're gonna keep an eye on the swollen eye. He's so cute. Also, while we were out here, a fox ran through the fields. I will insert a picture here. So we were able to ice his uh, eye for about 10 minutes or so. He wasn't too bad about it, which was surprising. And we just like wiped it clean a little bit. And now I'm going back inside because I'm cold and I need to make some dinner. And we have a little kitty over there. Basil, you hunt in the snow? So yeah, when something's wrong, call a vet, get some help and then follow the instructions from there. In this case, the vet said we should start by doing this on our own, and so that was good news for us because, as you know, vet visits can be expensive, and sometimes they're not always immediate. So, when you run into a problem in the homestead and you can do something immediately to help the situation, that's always really good. Okay guys, well, thanks for joining me on this little, oh, you found my glove. I was missing a glove. My hand is cold. When we first moved here and things came up and you know animals were injured or sick 
it was very stressful. And now we're learning, okay, well, I shouldn't say now we're learning because I was just overreacting like an hour ago. But each time, each instance, you learn a little bit more to take it in stride and to stay calm, act appropriately, do your best, and trust that it's gonna work out because there's no point in worrying about something that hasn't happened yet. So I'm trying to learn to just stay calm and just to do my part and to trust things are gonna be okay and to approach it that way, even when some scary things can come up. So, and things won't always be okay, things will go wrong, but if they're not at that point, it's not good to stress about it because there's so much worry already in life, why add any more on top of that? Well friends, time for me to go inside and um, prepare something to eat. It's actually Valentine's Day. I hope you all had a wonderful day. By the time you're seeing this, it's uh, quite a few days later. We love you guys and we're so grateful to have you a part of our Sunshine Farm family. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks friends. Have a wonderful rest of your day and can't wait to share my next video with you.